On this day, medical students at Rocky Vista University are being tested on standardized patient care and their diagnosis skills. 18 student doctors were brought into a simulated clinic setting where patients await their visit. And so you kind of have to memorize this, what they call the script beforehand so that you are all answering the same because the students are all being evaluated on the same um, symptoms and prognosis. They are then timed on their assessments before later returning with their diagnosis. They have about 20 minutes with their patient, the student goes in, they have 20 minutes to take a history, do a physical exam, and close up the visit and leave. Then the student takes 15 minutes to write up their SOAP note, and the standardized patient, as you can see right now, what they are doing is filling out an evaluation on the student. The students are graded on how they treat their patients, as well as their diagnosis and prognosis skills. It is very realistic, and it is kind of nerve-wracking, but the nice thing is, is that the first few were not graded, so it's just something to help us. Um, the fourth one we do is graded, so we have to make sure we're on top of it, but it's the, they try to keep the standardized patients pretty realistic. Each mock patient gets paid to test the student doctors with a pretend illness or health issue. In this scenario, each patient has a prominent rash. So it's really um, fun to see these students start out where they really don't know much of anything and they're kind of practicing on you and it's kind of fun to know that you're helping in their development um, and their progress and then just to watch them I guess as they progress. Students are also graded on how well they care for their patients with compassion and empathy. Exactly, this is one of the only times when a doctor is really going to hear directly from their patient how it felt to be their patient and this is a lot of what we talk about in feedback is the interpersonal skill piece and how doctors need to learn to treat humans and not just symptoms. At the end, they have the opportunity to discuss their experiences as a group and any questions about the entire standardized patient process. For Kelly Tickey, the diagnosis was fairly simple. It was a pretty easy diagnosis, I think. It was Lyme disease, which has a very uh, specific rash. But the timing of recording the soap notes was a little more difficult. We're also graded on how well we write our soap notes, which is just a nice concise summary of what we learned at the end. But the soap note is an issue for me, so f writing all that down in 15 minutes is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Not all post-grad schools offer the standardized patient practice experience. Most students must wait until they are graduated, serving in their residency in hospitals or clinics to get this valuable training. From Rocky Vista University, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.